Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. It's here. Oh my gosh, big face coffee, dude. Okay, if you clicked on this video and you're like, what's going on? Who is this guy? What's big face coffee? And what's the big deal here? Totally makes sense. Let me catch you up to speed. So I'm a specialty coffee content creator based out of Denver, Colorado, but I was born and raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I've been a Miami Heat fan my entire life. I'm talking Alonzo Mourning, I was there for Dwayne Wade's rookie year, the big three, and now Jimmy Butler. In 2020, the NBA played a season that's called The Bubble, and Jimmy Butler during that time, he started a coffee company called Big Face. So this year in 2023, the Miami Heat made it all the way to the finals, and who are they playing? The Denver Nuggets, which is exactly where I'm based out of. So I had this thought, right? I'm gonna post a video and say, I wanna take Jimmy Butler on a coffee crawl when he comes to Denver, because I know he loves coffee. I'm a coffee content creator. I'll know all the best spots to take him. I've seen social media do crazy things. Let's see if this can happen. So I post it and I'm expecting, all right, this is gonna get at least 100 100,000, maybe 500,000, maybe a million views. Yeah, it um, it doesn't. I think it got like 6,000 views, but Big Face Brand did see the post and for whatever reason, decided to reply to me. You wanna reply to little old me? They said, hey Jimmy, even though we can't guarantee a coffee crawl with Jimmy, we would love to send you a package. So I've actually never had Big Face Coffee before. They're kind of known for selling out really quick. For example, Jimmy Butler just got the Eastern Conference MVP. And so because of that, Big Face Brand decided to drop an MVP drop. And I guess people who had been waiting on it, like literally they had their thing in their shopping cart. It sold out like within minutes, which makes sense. I mean, look, the merch is super clean. The other thing that Big Face is kind of known for are their prices. So if you're able to secure a drop and get a box or two boxes of coffee, you're gonna be paying $30, $40, maybe even $50 per box. And I do wanna say something on that real quick. I just wish that coffee could be viewed at the level that wine is at because there are a lot of similarities between wine and coffee producers, but the biggest difference and the one that like really hits closest to home for me because I'm Peruvian is a lot of coffee is produced in second and third world countries. And so when the big box coffee brands come in and they buy just like a massive surplus of coffee, they're usually paying a small, small, small fraction of the amount of the cost that this coffee is actually worth. But what specialty coffee, what big face brand and not just big face brand, but a bunch of other specialty coffee roasters are doing is they're paying fair wages for this high level, great tasting coffee. But yeah, let me know. Let's start a conversation down in the comments and tell me what do you think would take for coffee to get to the level that wine is at where people don't bat an eye paying for a $120 bottle of wine. Okay, anyways, let's get to the unboxing. First things first, look at this box. Oh my gosh. This is the sleekest packaging ever. Look at this. This has to be like the greatest packaging that I've ever seen. I swear I could be the mascot for this little icon. Dude, this is so cool. All systems go and we have lift off. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Lift to release smile matter. Okay, here's number two. This is a black box. This one's clean. Oh, cool. This one's almost like a translucent bag. Okay, so I'm gonna try scanning the QR code for this one. So it looks like it just takes you to their homepage and then you can click on coffee. I love that this whole thing is kind of like spy, secret agent, space themed. Anything with a theme, if you're gonna launch a brand and you do anything with a theme, you're gonna get a fan base. I promise you that because this is the coolest thing ever. I wonder if maybe in the future they could even include Include like a clip of the farm, like a video or something like that. The last one is Camview to Kenyan. So cool. Okay, so here are our coffees. We got a uh, multi-origin double star. It's got notes of strawberry, floral honey, stone fruit, fruity and bold. We got La Paz, which is a washed Colombian. It says that it's uh, roasted for espresso. So I'll let you guys know how that tastes. Make sure to follow me on social media, on Instagram. And then we got the Cam View, which says that it's for filter and it's a washed Kenyan. I'm gonna try the double star because that's the one that sounds amazing to me. Notes of strawberry, floral honey and stone fruit. Yes, that sounds so good, it's so good. I'm using the new Fellow Scale, by the way, and then the grinder was the uh, is the Malconic X54, which is a great grinder. The recipe I'm doing is 18.5 to 300, and I'm gonna do a 50 gram bloom. 
let it sit for about 30 to 35 seconds. I'm gonna give it a little spin here. Okay, so we're right here at 35 and I'm just gonna go all the way up to 200. Start all the way on the inside, go all the way to the outside and then come all the way back in. It seems like this one's drawing down pretty slow. So I'm gonna start my next pour here at 120 and try to go all the way up to 300. Down the center. Yeah, like I ground pretty coarse, but Ethiopians just in general, you want to go coarser than you think. This one finished right at 335. Here's actually one more pro tip for you, but don't drink your coffee when it's scorching hot. It's gonna be way harder to taste those notes that they put on the boxes or the bags. The cooler the coffee, the more you'll be able to taste. All right, let's go. Yeah, wow. If you're wondering what I'm doing, by the way, I just have this method of taking my first couple sips when I'm really trying to taste for flavor notes. My first one is a slurp. Kind of like when you're drinking whiskey or wine or anything like that. I let the aeration kind of help me open up the flavor notes. And then the other one I do is called a sit. So it's a slurp and sit. So this one will just sit on my tongue, let it coat the sides of my tongue. And that's actually where I'm really tasting the honey is the sides of my tongue. A few things I noticed right off the bat, this coffee benefits from a coarser grind size for sure, because there is a little bit of over extraction, even though it finished at 335. I think this coffee would probably taste better closer to three minutes, three minutes, 10 seconds. You'll know when your coffee's over extracted if you taste it and it just almost tastes bitter. I'm gonna have to keep some of these boxes on the shelf. I don't know. I got a new shelf installed, so I'm gonna put artwork and stuff on it, and I'm definitely gonna put a Big Face box up there. Anyways, thank you so much, Big Face brand, Jimmy Butler. If you haven't tried their coffee, I would definitely recommend trying some. If you wanna see further impressions, because obviously there's two more boxes here, some of them are espresso, some of them are filter, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be posting about it there. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.